What is it? You all right? Ah, oh, I'm stuck. Can't get up. Don't you dare laugh. I'm coming. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <You> what? <laughs> yeah, I'm right. Oh, you should see me trying to get out of the bath. How about tonight, then? To have. Bloody hell, Steve's. A boy. Mm -hmm. A little boy. We're <laughs> having a little boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I suppose I owe you a thank you. How do you know it was our deal? Well, Regan came over. You told her about us. Listen, Stevie, I don't want Fiona to hear about us until I've had a chance to speak to myself, OK? You've had plenty of chances, Alex. You just haven't taken them. While we were away, we went to a fertility specialist. And she was a mess. It was hardly the time to break it off, OK? No, and it never will be. Stevie, I love you. I have a mob to bring in. Where are they? They're in the West Paddock. Listen, I'm going to talk to Fiona right now, OK? And I'll find you. I promise. She was fantastic. If she doesn't win, it was rigged. It's got to be. Should I go pound my nose? You know what? They're going to announce the year any second. I'll just... Not a bad speech, huh? Is that why you're here? Stevie. What are we doing? Why ask me? I'm not the one who dumped on his friends. We're neighbours. 
and we're going to have to work together. And so what happened today? I made a decision, okay? A business decision. Well, I got a farm to run, same as you. And tell me, would that decision have been the same if this would have happened two weeks ago? I will be your neighbour and we'll work together when we have to. But anything more than that, let's not even try and pretend. Hey. How'd dinner with a boyfriend go? Oh, it didn't work out as planned. Rose isn't speaking to me. Teenagers, huh? I'm kind of busy, Alex. Stevie. I keep thinking about you. We've got to sort things out. Fiona's been on at me to make a decision about Port Douglas. It means she's pressuring me I to buy a ticket. I don't give a rat's about Port Douglas. Well, neither do I. Then don't come over here and start talking about it then, because right now all I care about is my daughter. OK. But when you find a little bit of space for me, let me know, will you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Alex, it was Leo. Leo is Rose's boyfriend. What? I reckon he planned the whole thing. Is she OK? She thinks she's in love. Right. Where's he staying? I'll go and sort him out. No. Thank you. But no, I've got to handle this myself. Alex, I'll call you. I will. Need a hand? Thought you'd dropped off the face of the earth. You would have heard the splash. Heard about the trial. Wish Telegraph take care of that for me, huh? Were you going to tell me? Yeah, I just got a lot of stuff to do. I was going to pop over tonight. That Barris is the best in Australia, Stevie. He's going to get you off. And after he does, Life will go on as always. Me at Drovers and you and Fiona at Kalani. Is that what you want? Us apart? You can't talk like that, Alex. What happened to us at the pub? Are we just going to ignore it? It's too late. The timing's all wrong. It's always... It's always been wrong. I'm going to court. Could be going to jail. Just go home to your wife. Flash place to stop, is it? You going somewhere, Stevie? Yeah. Knock, knock. G'day. Hey. Hello. Ah. You look like you could do with one of these. I could. Why aren't you at the pub with the others? Why aren't you at home with your wife? You look tired. You're not wrong. It's been pretty full on since you got back. Stevie. You don't know the half of it. You've had a lot to deal with. There was no baby. No pregnancy. Fiona was lying the whole time. You knew, didn't you? How long? Uh, since the hen's night, I wanted to say something, but... But I... what? But I didn't know what to say, and then all this stuff happened with Harry... Yeah? What about the miscarriage? That happened days ago. Why didn't you tell me then? Yeah, I know. I should have. One phone call. One conversation. That's all it needed. Alex, please don't take this out on me. You're supposed to be my mate. Mates help each other out. I didn't marry the woman you did. Look, there's never going to be a good time for you to find out. 
And I'm sorry, I really am, but right now I have enough to deal with. Good night, Alex. Shut up and listen, I'll let you know. Can this all wait till tomorrow, please? No, it can't. Look, I don't want to disturb you here. You've had your last chance, Riley. Good, stick your job. Hey, he was helping save Moira's business. You owe him an apology. Stevie, we're trying to have some time alone here. Don't tell me what to do, Stevie. Oh, someone has to tell you when you're being a jerk. Stevie! Alex! Just leave it! Stevie! Whatever it is, I don't want to hear it. Then don't go sticking your nose in. Oh, then stop making a fool of yourself. This isn't the first time with Riley. He had it coming, all right? Look, if you don't want to know the truth, fine. You go back to Fiona and keep playing the same game. You can talk. Who helped kick the lies, huh? The broken engagement, the fake pregnancy. You knew all that before me. Well, I figured it was none of my business like you keep saying. Damn right it's not. Well, you can't have it both ways. You can't choose when I'm your friend and then when I'm not. Either you want me as one the whole time or you don't. Yes, I want you. and already she's giving me grief. You must be working hard enough. She's grown up fast, huh? Yeah. We didn't get a chance to talk in town. Well, there's nothing to say. You're married, Alex. I'm not asking you to have an affair, Stevie. Well, good, because there's no way that I would. Are we going to pretend it didn't happen? I just don't know what else we can do. You're with Fiona, and that's your life. We've both just got to live with that. Stevie. Alex. I didn't do it, I swear. I know that. Come here. Stevie, if you want to talk, I'll listen. I, um... I don't really know what to say. I thought... I thought I'd lost it all. I thought I'd lost everything. I'll be dropping the charges, OK? It's all over. Oh, Alex, I'm so sorry. What? You lost Harry because of a dumb accident. And if I've lost you on top of the rest of it, I've got you back and that's all it has. You're freezing. I'll get some hot drinks. I'll get you guys some towels. No, it's all right. I've got to get back. Come on. You need a hot shower. I'll see you soon, OK? Come on, Stevie. I'm not going to say goodbye, mate. Now nah, you'll be back. I'm sorry you missed out on the bridesmaid gig. But thanks for being part of the day, Stevie. Stevie, I know things are going to change. But my life's finally got some direction. And you'll still be a part of that. Hey. You're my best. 
this, Mike Stevie. Hey. We better go, unless you want to skip the honeymoon as well. Yeah, that'll happen. Thank you for your help today, Stevie. We couldn't have done it without you. cherish until death do us part. Not enough. <sighs> Look, I know life's not a fairy tale. It doesn't always have a happy ending. But Tess, she believes in true love like a kid believes in Santa. Who wouldn't believe in Santa? <laughs> Stop it, I'm being serious. Me too. Look, face it, we've got to get Cinderella and Prince Charming back together again. Right. So what does that make us, the ugly stepsisters? <laughs> you can speak for yourself. I'm the gorgeous, seductive stepsister. Who has a plan? I bet you'll change your mind about women. You'll meet at least one who you can be friends with. And at least one more who you'll fall in love with. You're sure about that, aren't you? You've got to believe in love. Even when they break your heart, you've got to keep believing in it. Yeah, I know, Stevie. But Cain... He wasn't worth it. Yeah, I know. He was wrong for me and it wouldn't have worked out. Oh, but I thought that he was the one. And everyone thinks I'm over it. But old Stevie, she just bounces back. But not this time. This time I let him in. Oh, and it hurts. I know. You know, for a man and woman, we can't even be friends. We get along pretty well. <laughs> Not a clue. But then again, you don't always know someone as well as you think you do. You don't always know yourself as well as you think you do. Didn't know I was going to kiss you either. Me neither. But hey. So what do you reckon? I reckon... I don't want to be anyone's rebound girl. Well, for what it's worth, I don't want to be anyone's rebound guy. So you want to just forget it? Well, not unless you do. Well, that doesn't leave us with many options. I can't get into anything with a guy I can't be friends with first, and you don't think it's possible to be friends. 
I'm willing to be proved wrong. Yeah? You know, if it doesn't work out, neither of us lose. Well, I won't kiss you, but I'll shake on it. Friends? Spare one of those for me. Come on, get the other. Oh. What happened? Why aren't you at the ball with Felicity? We did the ball thing. Lasted about five minutes. Too many boring old farts, huh? You were right. There's a reason you don't see someone for ten years. So it didn't work out. Flick was ready to bail, and I realised I'd rather be somewhere else. So I got all dressed up for nothing. Ah, oh, well, you impress the hell out of me. If I'm single and desperate in ten years, I'll have you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Aren't you going to say the same for me? Can we make it twenty? Oh, <laughs> watch it! I'll drop you back in that tank. <laughs> What about Oscar? Nah, I didn't want to worry her. I'll tell her about that when she gets back. Well, the way Dave tells it, you performed a miracle last night. Wasn't just me. I reckon if you can survive the last 24 hours, you can pretty much cope with anything, mate. I reckon you're right. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry, Turbo, you lose, mate. You're no longer top dog around here. <gasps> Turbo, that's Tessa's shoe. Put it down. Drop it. Turbo, don't you, don't you, don't you move. Drop. No, you won't get any dinner. You, don't you. Turbo, come Don't back. you not topped off yet, Stevie. Oh, shut oh. up, Alex. Alex! Oh, God. He's in the tank. He's passed out. Quick, Stevie. Call an ambulance. Don't you get in there. You'll pass out too. No, if we leave it any longer, he's dead, Kate. You're never going to be able to lift him. I'll get a rope. Yeah, Stevie, carbon monoxide's really heavy. It'll sit at the bottom, so keep your head up, all right? Oh. Oh. Alex! Come on! Alex, wake up! Wake up! Come on! Quick, quick, Zodi, quick, quick. Stevie? Oh, Alex. Yeah. You all right? Oh, hang on, hang on. Okay. Oh. Ambulance is on its way. Meg? Megan, fall! Oh. He's too heavy. Get away, Kate. It's not your fault I jumped into that stupid tank. Sit. No, I wasn't in there long. I'm fine. I said sit. Well, we haven't finished cleaning the tank yet. That's right. Kate and Joe will get onto that straight away. Yeah, I'll think I'll make some tea. But I did. But don't worry about it. This is a little crazy. I don't know, Stevie. You have a backup guy for Saturday night in case your first choice falls through. Okay. 
What's wrong with the backup guy for the rest of your life? Yeah, it could work. I mean, it really depends on what she looks like now. Ah, uh, yeah, I reckon it could definitely work. But you would say that. You're a serial husband. Well, no one likes being on their own. So if it's a choice between being old and lonely... Well, I'd rather that than someone who's a last resort. They don't have to be a last resort, Stevie. Just not a first resort. Flick was a great mate. You can do worse than marry your best friend. No, the only reason to marry someone is because fireworks go off every time you even think of them. Or because it's sex on tap. And because you don't have to have three-day-old leftovers for dinner. Or maybe I don't want to spend my life sharing with you guys. It sounds like you're ready to take the plunge again, mate. I'm just saying, what if... Your soulmate comes along the person you're really meant to be with, and it's too late. Unless you've already met them. Then why aren't you with them? Because life doesn't turn out like that. Stuff happens. So the real question is... Do you have more than one soulmate? <sighs> Something's changed. Changed how? I don't know, when... When Alex went bush... I was really scared that something had happened to him. And I didn't... See, when I meet a guy, it's fireworks. Right off the bat. But with Alex... Well, people change. <laughs> it's so stupid. He's my best mate. <laughs> Wouldn't work. Do you love him? Doesn't matter. You can love anyone. Doesn't mean it will work out. Are you scared? That's perfectly natural. No, I'm not scared. I'm just I'm being realistic. <sighs> Look at that. It's for you. It's for me. Okay, Steve, you ready to go? Old friend, I have to trust myself. Leave and lose the doubt. Oh, we all need the help. Okay, let's see how he likes it. That has made such a difference. He looks so much better. Hey, you two can rest off if you like. I'll watch for now. Here, go on. Thanks. It's lucky you got no plans for the rest of the day. Yeah, because I don't have to stay. Hey, give me that. Sit down and take a load off, will you? Look at you. You're as stubborn as he is. Yeah, well, Tess is relying on me. It was the first thing to happen on my watch. The horse almost dies. You can't control everything, mate. Yeah, I just didn't realise how much I relied on her. I don't know if I can do this. Listen, Stevie. Tess trusts you, right? You just got to learn to trust yourself a bit more. Yeah, but Alex... You might want to learn to lean on your friends a bit more, too. Apparently, that's what a good leader does. Have you been reading yourself help books again? No, some bloke from the footy show. Work for him. <laughs> Oi, get a move on, will ya? Yeah, in a second, pal. Come on, cowgirl, move him along. You too, mate. Oh, nice to see you, Alex. Hey, Tess. Hey, girls. Hey. Good day.
long till I see you again. Alex. Two. Not your thing, is it? Well, I reckon you might have to walk me through it, step by step. You can take your time. <laughs> uh, firstly, I'd like to say tough luck to Grace Kingston. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank my horse. A Brumby trained by me and my partner, Riley Ward. And if anyone is in the market, please feel free to come and talk to either one of us after I'm done up here. I also have to thank one other person, someone who is really special to me, Alex Ryan. This one is for you. Come up here and give me a kiss, you big fuck. Closed. You don't feel for the ground? <laughs> okay. Now walk this way. Where are you taking me, Alex Ryan? Do you mind, Stephen Hall? Just keep walking, will you? <laughs> All right? Uh-huh. Here we go. Just about there. Okay, stop there. Now open your eyes. Is that enough flowers for you? <laughs> it's canola, Alex. Fish and chip oil, is that the best you can do? Jeez, you want the world, don't you, woman? <laughs> well, I was actually trying for sunflowers, but the nearest field's about 300 k's that way. <laughs> I finally figured out what I should have said last night. I love you, Stevie. God, I love you. apart again. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. <laughs> When we're married, let's promise to never fight over something that's pointless again. Okay? Okay.
Hey, hey, Stevie, don't open that, okay? Just, just give it to me. Well, if I know what this is. Why didn't you just tell me that this was what was in the truck? Because I... I wanted it to be perfect. I read of the boat. I was going to row you across the lake to this beautiful spot in the hill where I'd organise a private chef and a waiter. And when we'd finished eating, I was going to give Jerry the nod. Who? Yeah. You know, Jerry the waiter. The guy the cop ring, he saved our necks. And he was going to give you a glass of champagne and then the bottom of it was... But, hold on. So, you made us... You made us walk for hours. You stole the car. You talked your way around the cops. We spent the night in the truck. Now you've scrambled around on your hands and knees and mud and cow shit. <laughs> Just to keep this a secret. Don't rub it in, will you? Alex, that's the most romantic thing I've ever heard. Really? Really? I'll... I'll chop your wood for you if you let me. No, no, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll let you ask me to chop it. You can chop it. Stuff and I don't understand any of that crap. <laughs> I don't. <laughs>